All right, for question number six, uh, due to the difficulty of these questions, we decided that uh, it would be something more like a bonus question on the uh, test. So, uh, and, and I would be very honest with you, it's not that hard. Uh, it's really not that hard. Uh, if you understand the concept, it's really easy. Uh, and you will definitely see this uh, in pre-calc. So uh, my, my message to my students is this. Uh, just go ahead and learn this, get the bonus, and get ready for next year. Why not, right? So first, uh, just a little uh, thing going on right here. We have a square root on the left. Uh, you have two options. Yeah, you, can, uh, you can either square both sides or just make the square root to one half power. I guess I would just go ahead and square both sides first. Okay, that should make my life a little bit easier and make your life a little bit easier too. Now, don't forget your exponent properties. Okay, don't forget your exponent properties. Okay, that would be very, very crucial right here. All right, now, next up, uh, well, we have two exponential functions, one on the left, one on the right. They have different bases, and there's nothing we can do to uh, make them the same base. So, therefore, we will just go ahead and uh, do the natural log on both sides to apply natural log on both sides right here. And with the log property, we can always bring the x term to the front. And when you do that for the left-hand side with a natural log of 10, so uh, please make sure that you put a pair of parentheses around 4x plus 2 or else. Um, Notation-wise, it will be a little bit uh, misleading because if you don't put parentheses, it would imply that only the 2 is multiplying by the uh, natural log of 10, which is not quite what you meant. Okay, and uh, now, and uh, the sharp eyes that you need to have here is that you have two x's and you want to get x's on both sides, uh, on the same side, sorry, uh, so that you can, you know, single them out. And for this purpose, I am going to move the 4x uh, natural log of 10 to the right so that I can keep my uh, two natural log of 10 as a positive term. So then I can factor out, I can factor out the x again, something that you would do a lot in the future. Okay, so you have two copies of x right here, and now we're just down to one. And all we need to do to get x by itself is to divide that parentheses right there to the other side. So you have two natural log of x, uh, 10, sorry, two natural log of 10, divided by what? Divided by the whole thing that appeared in the parentheses. That's it, okay? That's it, that's the answer right here. So uh, so again, as I said, it's not really complicated. It's just that you have to know uh, how to deal with the situation, understanding that uh, log of any number is just a number. So uh, keep your mind focused on getting X by itself, getting X isolated, that is the key, okay? So uh, that's the, uh, that's the, um, uh, that is the um, way to handle number six.